subject to their approval. Uh, hold on. Hey. Oh, sorry. Uh, Let me up. I love her. She is so beautiful and just hilarious. Ford. Peg. Should probably change that hairstyle. No. No phones. Why can't she have her phone? Because she's afraid that I will tweet an ethnic slur. <laughs> Thought it was a generic term for cheap. Jewy. <laughs> Everything is so woke these days, it's out of control. Yes. What the hell? Who would just think of that? Unless you were just trying to make it a thing or something. Okay, how do you open this thing? Hi, Birdie. Lionel's on two. Hi, Peg. Hi. Oh, no, Peg's putting out a fire. She'll be back. Another fire fern. Hey, you I just said, <laughs> don't play with fire in the house. Surprised she isn't having like an orgy or something. Then the answer is no, Jimmy Kimmel. I do not hate boobs. Boobs give us many useful things. Boobs give us milk cheese breast nourish our young until the age where we can go out and hunt for them boobs are fun yeah he looks like the type of dude that loves boobs love my boobs they're so much fun oops sorry feminist sorry feminist so when so you have a girl with small boobs come in and talk about boobs okay i mean, I mean boobs is boobs because so. that's what nature made us to do dookie I've been calling you, you got Man, that dude Dave Batista came far, man. I admire the fact that he built his career trying to make so many connections because that's how you grow in this business or any business is with connections. This dude has had the most diverse career out of John Cena and The Rock, man. Already. My mom already broke it. It's a stereogram. She did something to it, it opened up. Wait, a stereogram? Were those the things? Magic eye things? I can never do those. Mom, what did I tell you about touching my stuff? What the hell? So this dude has the ability to change his vision. This dude playing too much, man. Just send me some J's or something. I ate. It's Over a sending board. me this board this game. It's game. ridiculous. So it's it's set up for a, a made in one. Should I? Do it, Gasparov. Hey, it's like I gotta Google some instructions and stuff. Doing the most. That's tic tac toe. I know this. But it's solved already, so it can't it's be. It's tic tac toe. Thank you for contributing, Birdie. Yes. <laughs> That's all she worried about. This dude's mom is a genius. <gasps> it's music. Guys, it's music. It's music. Are you mocking What me? type of yes. friend group is okay. this, bro? Uh -huh. <laughs> Gee, me and my friends would just send each other freaking McDonald's and stuff. I'm broke, nigga, I'm broke. <laughs> this is Fox Little Fugue in G minor. You sure? Yeah. Uh, I'm Shazamming it. Alexa, so Shazam a fugue song, please. is a beautiful... <laughs> Doing the most, bro. <laughs> Just use your phone. This can't Shazam, it's a lamp. I love you, Birdie. I love you too, Claire. Wait, late, late, what late drugs is he on? Hold she on. can't be this stupid. Freaking Miles, man. Genius. That first one's a He's doing the most. Yo, if you don't say thank you to your mom, man, she helped everybody out. So this is it. All together now. One, two, three. All this for a card? <laughs> Golly, bro. I guess he just makes your life more interesting. <laughs> what? I haven't seen her in a movie in a minute, so her playing this character right here is just such a shock. Exactly. Ain't wasting no time. Interrupted this girl getting her hair done. Oh snap, they got a us in this game? Oh snap. Wait, what just happened? Blanc, I saw you go in the engine room. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Natasha, what? I've got to say, the world's greatest detective thought she'd be better at this. I think maybe this game's just not my thing. Maybe we should try that. <laughs> Lockdown hasn't been easy for any of us. But Philip told me you haven't left the bath for a week. Oh. From the way it's looking in that bathroom, yeah, you haven't left in a week. That's the, that's gross. I know everything pruned up. I think that's really cool that they actually acknowledging the whole pandemic and stuff. I was about to say, if this girl shows up with a mask, that's gonna be freaking ridiculous. 
she does have a mask on, but it's it's see through <laughs> and it's pointless. You got all them holes in there. I used to have such a big crush for Kate when I was younger, bro. Them beautiful green eyes that she had. Miss Buddy J, what an extraordinary gathering. Yo, who popping shots up in this bit? Oh, they are actually shooting. What the? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck are you doing? Remember my girl, Whiskey? Hi. Of course. Whiskey. Hello. She a stripper? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Greece. Ethan Hawke is in this movie? What? I only saw the first trailer. Was he in the trailer? Mr. Andino will assist you with your luggage. But first, I'm going to need you to remove your mask and extend your tongue. This will only be momentarily uncomfortable. <laughs> what is that? What, what is that? Open, please. What is it, a tracker? <laughs> you won't be needing that anymore. What is that? Is that some kind of disinfectant? Oh, you're good. Man, why aren't you answering this question? That's weird. They're just not allowing this dude to inject him with something. Oh my God, Janelle is fine as hell, bro. Oh, look at that fit. Okay, I see you, girl. You better stun on them hoes. Hey, hi. Holy shit. She arrived fashionably late, literally. <laughs> girl, you gotta be careful. That just came out of the water. It's slippery. Serenading me with my song. On the guitar Paul wrote it on. <laughs> I know, legit, right? But look at your face, it was worth it. Oh. My friends, my friends. Damn. <laughs> After the whole men in black thing. We can hug. Oh, God. Mm, it. Oh, we're oh. allowed to hug. Oh. What was he, yeah. grabbing her butt? <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, don't be hugging my girl like that, bro. What the hell? Oh, he must have hit before. Mr. Prawn, I cannot overstate my gratitude I'm for so this. Happy I to meet. That's a good shot right there. This isn't just a rich asshole house. It's, is it? It's oh my house. God, bro. The freaking robot. Amazing. See me, I don't like the whole robot AI thing, you know, cause I've seen I robot. I'm not about to let that shit happen. That's the hourly dong. You know? It literally says dong. Y'all gonna hear me say this a lot, this video, but this dude is doing the most, bro. Is that a motor car? Oh yeah, that's my baby blue. It's one of a kind, goes anywhere I go. All around the world. What the hell? That's crazy. Because there's nowhere to drive it on the island. Then why not put it in a garage or something? Or why don't you like build a track? You're rich as hell. You sent me a box. Wait, you received a box? Yes. A wooden box was delivered to my home with some simple children's puzzles, which uh, once I completed. <laughs> Someone reset the box. They oh, sent it to oh, you as God. a gag. Miles is doing a murder mystery. Let's invite Benoit freaking Blanc. Mr. Braun, I've learned through bitter experience that a, an anonymous invitation is not to be trifled with. Okay, look, come on. I wonder how many times this dude has been anonymously invited to something. Like, why would you invite this dude to a murder? Like, you, like you want yourself to get caught. Or maybe you just want to try to test yourself to see if you can get the best of Benoit Blanc. Oh my, f yo, she is killing that fit, bro. Oh, the, the baby blue. Iconic. You remember that night you almost pancaked me with it on the road outside? Right? Anderson Cooper's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Coop's parties are memorable. Whoa, what the, f oh, I thought that was his. What? Oh my God. Really? So this is just his thing. He just randomly starts shooting shots. I thought that dude was hard. I was like, bro, why are you hard? But he is somewhat hard. Why am I even looking at this dude's junk, bro? <laughs> there was a time, you know, back when I was the one on magazines. He was nobody. You're Birdie J on billboards. I can't believe I'm talking to you. Shoot, now he up now. You broke, kinda, compared to him, type of money he got. I preferred that. That's what I'm talking about, bro. City boys up. How long has it been? Since the trial, so a few months. Mm, the trial, Ugh. that was not fun. 
I mean, for... Oh, my God. I love that look that she does, bro. Sexy as hell. She was a fashion icon and then the youngest editor ever of Shishi magazine, right? Establishment BS off top of the world. But then, of course, her ass yawning. Well, she thinks she can do better. Fuck out of here, girl. And there was the whole... You're not even on a magazine. You got OnlyFans. Mr. Blanc, you're a detective, right? Can you spot the other thing? Everybody knows who Lionel works for. That's no secret. And we know who bankrolled Claire's campaign. Nobody would touch Bertie with a 10-foot pole because she went on Oprah and compared herself to Harriet Tubman. What? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> like Miles said, I'm a truth teller. Some people can't handle it. Maybe because you just say dumb shit. The mistake speaking without thought for speaking the truth. Exactly. That's what I just said. Are you calling me dangerous? Congratulations. You played yourself. No, he's calling you an idiot. She's so worried about getting on top of the D. They ain't really paying that much attention. What do you mean? She's changed. What's she playing at? She probably tired of the bullshit. Bird showed me the statement that you want her to make to the press about Bangladesh. And oh. if you make her go through with it, her name is destroyed. So if her name is destroyed, then my name is... I'm begging you. You got to get her to make that statement. It is her only way out. That was another thing that I was pretty much going to say is there's something that's going to be coming up in the future. <laughs> Hide behind them booty cheeks. Perfect place to hide, especially when they thick. Yeah, you got to linger on them cheeks, bro. <laughs> be hilarious. They'd be like, bro, that statue is a dude, bro. I'm like, damn. This is a smokeless garden. Nope. This is a smokeless garden. This is a smokeless garden. Please keep our water clean. Keep our water clean. Keep our water dude, running off like this dude don't have no cameras. Those type of alarms, I'm assuming that he has cameras. You should have already knew this was going to happen. You loving the view? It's a shame, bro. Louvre's closed, France needed money, and so I bought myself a little short-term loan. Don't tell the insurance guys, but mm -hmm. I had a little override button installed. Oh, yeah, Where do you, you think did. it is? Why would you tell somebody that? Now they're about to destroy the Mona Lisa. I'm gonna tell him. Don't you dare. I needed to be able to look her in the eyes without glass in between us. <laughs> you know Da Vinci invented a technique for brushstrokes that leave no lines? That's how you can look straight at her and her expression changes every time. Her smile's there, then it disappears. Why and Classic. how? Get the fuck out of here, Daryl! Out of here. <laughs> Why and how is the Mona Lisa one of the most popular paintings of all time? Is it because of all the stuff that he's mentioned and the stuff that I've heard, which is like what he said as well? I call it clear with a K. And at this event, we are going to announce Clear America our affordable home power solution, Clear, is gonna be powering people's dreams all over this country by the end of this year. Yeah, but there's something you're not telling us. Because I was clear with you. I told you I need two years minimum to test this stuff to see if it's safe or even viable. See, he don't give a damn, he just care about the money. Oh no. And he'll take you out. Oh yeah. You're running this entire place off this? Yo, I will be throwing hands with that dude. You really using us as test subjects right now. Okay, so now they gave us two people that could have a motive to kill this dude. My murder. Consider what you know about each other. Know that across the island, I've hidden clues. Some may be helpful, some may misdirect. That's for you to determine. What are we with? What do you mean, what do you, what do you, what do you want? No, no, nothing, I just, an iPad or like. <laughs> so you told me you don't win shit? I don't actually need an iPad. I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> just, just, it's just when you said win, it, it, you know, maybe say. Can we um, <laughs> work together? This will take the whole weekend. You know, this is truly delightful. Yeah, why not? As Watson said to Holmes. It was Birdie. What the fuck? Damn! <laughs> we haven't even started the game yet, sir. That is a vintage Jayhawk brand crossbow. Jayhawk, Birdie J. 
but the motive, yes. She famously wore what became known as the Ren Diamond. Yo, I'm, I'm loving this scene right here. You can just see the passion is with this whole case, even though it's fake. Would you kindly open it for us? Ah! I love how this dude really just observed the whole room the whole time they was there. <laughs> Dang, so what else are they supposed to do now? It was supposed to last the whole weekend. You've taken seven people, each of whom has a real life reason to wish you harm, gathered them together on a remote island and placed the idea of your murder in their heads. It's like putting a loaded gun on the table and turning off the lights. Mm, which is probably what's gonna happen. I think something similar like that happened in the trailer. Yeah, where is he? Come on, wait. hey. Duke smiling. There it is. There's my guy. What's going on? You look like you got good news. You got to see this. Oh! This is uh, all over the internet. This scene right here is like bringing up my anxiety for some reason because I'm just like, something's about to happen. It's making a dent in our own ways. You know, five minutes ago, Blanc was telling me that this whole party was very dangerous. I'm trying to observe the whole room and stuff to see if I can pick up on anything. It doesn't even matter. It's so silly. <laughs> Wow, look at that dress fit. Yeah. Birdie, that's amazing, just, just. I mean, that is a beautiful dress. She's killing that dress. Yeah, but she's like taking away my concentration from something else. What is going on with this painting, bro? Up there, breaking it and making it. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Bro, look at his face, bro. That dude faking, bro. Is nobody going do CPR or him like remover or something or maneuver I mean not remover what what I didn't think he was gonna die but we won't know the exact cause of death without an autopsy but, um, what just happened my dear would, would, would you do me a favor would you yeah, come like, sit over here yeah, you're like bitch what you crying for with your cheating ass if you don't go somewhere else fuck out of here where's Andy Where's Duke's phone? It just dinged. It yeah. must be here. Yeah. Isn't it on the uh, couch? Forget about his phone. Look. The girl took it. Um, whiskey, bourbon, whatever fuck her name is. Margarita. The game, my murder game. We were going to be having drinks, and I thought it'd be fun to say something dramatic just at 10 o'clock, and then we were going to have 20 minutes where, help me, help me. What I don't even know what's going on. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, Birdie, oh my God. Birdie oh my just God. listen to my voice. Is that you? Stop screaming. Oh my God, something touched me. Do something not me. panic. It's so no, I'm here. Where's my phone? It has a flashlight. Yeah, why are y'all screaming like none of y'all have a phone with a flashlight? It was Andy. She killed Duke and she tore our room apart. I saw her. What? No, I don't believe that. Wait, Mr. Braun. What the is happening? Hell's bells, just to everybody. Just <laughs> Yo, this scene is crazy, bro. So much tension, bro. Oh, I got to get my mind spinning. We only need one last piece of information, but only you can. Oh, shit. Yo, I didn't think she was going to die either. What? Oh, no, this is definitely one of my favorite shots in the trailer, bro. I, I love what they was doing right here with the directing, bro, and the camera movement. Why kill her, though? Everyone. Inside. Shouldn't we? She's not going anywhere. Dang, we like halfway through the movie. I thought we were still like in the beginning parts of the movie, bro. I think this is the beginning of the second act, though, right? Or the middle of the second act? Only one person can tell us who killed Cassandra Brand. So she gave him the box. Yeah. Oh, snap, this dude. Ew, what a cameo. Yes, is, is this Benoit Blanc's residence? Oh my. <laughs> well, why don't we start at the beginning? My name is Helen Brand, and I came all the way here from Alabama. What's up with this fake ass character? In her garage with the engine running. What? My sister was Cassandra Brand. Do you know who she oh, was? Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh. I finally found it. And I'm gonna use it to burn his whole empire down. You know where to find me. Hey. You wanna hire me to go to that island? It's a stupid idea, right? This is one of the things that I love about Knives Out, bro. 
is that it's just taking the whole murder mystery genre and turning it on its head, man. I'm proposing that you come with me to that island as your sister, as Cassandra Brand. What? <laughs> and then you can find out who killed her because whoever would see her on the island would act real weird and stuff. Do you really think we can get the son of a bitch? Hell yeah, I'm the main character, bitch. Let's go. I'm sorry, let me say it in the country accent. I'm the main character, bitch. Let's go. Miles Braun is not an idiot. To risk committing murder after a very public court case would be an exceedingly stupid thing to do. I don't even have a clue of who it could be. Bertie was a washed up model. Duke was a nerd doing video games. Bro, look at that freaking toupee, bro. <laughs> look at his wig, too. <laughs> Looking like Norbit, even though I haven't seen that movie, but I'm going to be checking that movie out soon. Then she found Miles, introduced him to the group. This is Miles. Yo, these wigs are hilarious. You know, I want to I wanna be responsible for something that gets talked about in the same breath as the Mona Lisa. No. Andy, Andy, come on. This is it. No, no, no. Why this dude looking like freaking, look like Steve Jobs, bro. But then she found out that Miles had the lawyers work the contract, so she was cut out the company completely. So she sued over that. Her whole case was based on intellectual ownership of the company's founding idea. Man, that's what's up that she told you all this shit, girl. She told you every single detail. Uh, so he grabbed a napkin and he, uh, He's scribbled something on it too. Oh, that's a lie. Order. Your Honor, Order. it's a lie, Claire. Counsel. You can tell it's a lie. That girl's stuttering and shit. Damn, girl. Should go get some ice cream or something. This kind of looks like that uh, clue no pen. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, you yes, must yes. be really great at clue, huh? I'm very bad at dumb things. <laughs> yeah, this is another reference to clue. I guess that must be the most popular who done it movie or whatever. I know they're doing a remake with Ryan Reynolds. Shoot, I should look at the camera like that, bro. Like this is a makeup commercial. Oh God. <laughs> Ballsy move. You shouldn't be here. Yeah, she's saying you like you literally shouldn't. Like I, I killed you. Oh, oh shit! Really? <laughs> but it's gas form into household piping. It's massive leakage into the air. The hydrogen particles are too small. Hydrogen gas? My goodness, bro. And y'all still gonna go through with this whole thing? It's like people don't have no morals when it comes to money. Andy, hi. Mm. Wow. Man, stop nice. showing me that look, right? That girl you looking really so damn good. good. You know, they bet the farm and we'll both be ruined along with Miles if he fails. They need to protect him at all costs. But I can't imagine them killing her. I just can't. I don't think Lionel would kill her, but I think Claire would, if that's her name. Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought you said you didn't drink. Oh, this is and drink. This is some funky hell stuff. No, you give me that. That's hard kombucha. That's Jared Leto's hard kombucha. <laughs> Feeling good. Feeling lightheaded. Think of the danger here. You're gonna step back and let me handle this. My God, man. Nothing. She is so beautiful, bro. That melanin is shining, man. Nobody. Shoot, look at it, just glowing. The system itself. But that is what true disruption is. And that God damn, is girl. Look <laughs> at that shit, ridiculous. That Yo, you need you some water. No wonder she was running off like that. So now you want to talk about the email you didn't even write back. I'm a politician. I never email anything that I wouldn't want to see on the front page of the Times. That's why I called. Your phone was off. And when we couldn't reach you, I went to your house. Oh, this is crazy. She was already dead. This is the shit I'm talking about. It's like, I feel like I'm getting closer and they add some more layers. Oh, if I ever meet Jared Leto, I'm gonna whoop his kombucha brewing ass. All his machines. Go to him. 
do what you gotta do. Push that son of a bitch. Just get an answer out of him. What the f Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Yo! What? I thought she was like genuinely cheating on this man. Ah! Oh. So no wonder he was freaking clenching his fist because he's like, bitch, get something out of this man. And I'm not talking about no white stuff. So much more drama than I thought. What is this? An email from the Sweetie Pants contractor two years ago. Miss J, I am writing to inform you that the proposed Bangladesh factory is notoriously one of the world's biggest sweatshops. Please advise. And then you replied, sounds perfect, thanks, with your memoji dabbing. <laughs> Why did you send an emoji? <laughs> Please tell me you did not think sweatshops are where they make sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> is somebody really that damn stupid he's a son of a bitch whiskey leave his ass yeah, i didn't like that look they might already gave it to him hey hi Sorry. <laughs> this dude living like a teenager, man. Who is this guy? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. How the hell did that get out? I'll say Janelle has been doing a great job this whole movie. I left Duke because I couldn't. He didn't deserve this. He is a bastard. I don't feel sorry for him. He deserved what he got. So she thinks she killed him. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Why the hell do you even have that? What was that, a harpoon? All right, now I know that they are trying to make like five or six of these. Just off of this one alone, I don't even really know how you could top this one, man. Look like he had a gun in his hand. I didn't like that face either. I don't understand. We only need one last piece of information, and only you can. So R.I.P. to these girls, man. They did not deserve this. <laughs> what the hell? Whoa, 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 what? Son of a bitch. What the fuck? <laughs> what is this? Yo, this is crazy. Y'all playing with my emotions right now. I really thought this girl died. Jeremy Renner did it. <laughs> Give me that. This will be good. Oh. oh. I know that shit hurt. <laughs> shit balls. <laughs> so how did they not see her breathing? Oh, Andy. Oh, that's just about to get in her eye or her nose. She's not going anywhere. Inside. It's time to finish this. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no. It makes no sense. Okay, I didn't even think anything of it when he wanted to leave the body there. I thought he was just leaving the body there so they wouldn't mess with any like of the evidence, you know? They said, don't touch the crime scene, you know? Don't ruin the crime scene. I expected complexity. I expected intelligence. Truth is, it doesn't hide at all. And I was staring right at it. Yo, <laughs> so he did it. At the last moment, I realized what it teased my brain through this entire case. Embreviate, not a word. Can we just take a second and fully embreviate this moment? Abbreviate? <laughs> so this dude is one of those type of people that try to act like they smart and just be saying big words for no reason. I assumed Miles Braun was a complicated genius. But why? Miles Braun is an idiot. That painting reminds me of Fight Club. Duke took my glass. He must have picked it up by mistake, you told us, right after it happened. Look at that dress bin. Pretty. That's Pretty. what I said, that bro. He did that shit on purpose. 
why? Because the night Andy sent you. Hey, yo, back the hell up, bro, because I don't know if you were involved in this, too. He saw Miles leaving. <laughs> was almost struck by him. In fact, he told all of us. You remember that night you almost pancaked me with it on the road outside of Andy's? Anderson Cooper's birthday. Yeah, yeah. My God, bro. I didn't think it was going to be him, though. I thought it was going to be somebody else. What is reality? <laughs> Lionel faxed Andy's email to Miles, who received it. She didn't see the real threat, oh. the obvious threat, until it was too late. Brilliant. They had you thinking it was all these other people and it was actually him. Just like Benoit said, in clear sight, bro. Right out in the open, Duke showed him. It changes things, right? It sure does. And told him exactly what he wanted in return for his silence. Numbers like this. Maybe we can talk alpha news. You bet your ass. Come here. <laughs> okay, yeah, and he's trying to blackmail him. Damn. There's no pineapple in there, right? This Duke don't dance with pineapple. An allergy. <sighs> he can't even have a drop. Pineapple juice. <laughs> That's crazy. It's so dumb. <laughs> so dumb, it's brilliant. No! <laughs> Of course, you would say dumb. that, you idiot. Right, she's a Yo, sister that's crazy. Like I said, they make you think it's so complex, but it's so simple. Like you said, it's stupid. <laughs> you go into this movie trying to like overly think and shit, or maybe it's just me, when actually it's just right there, bro. So especially how they film this whole thing too. You have a loaded gun conveniently within reach and the lights had even been turned off. You have taken seven people, each of whom has a real life reason to wish you harm. It's like putting a loaded gun on the table and turning off the lights. Here it's <laughs> He said it's so stupid. <laughs> you gave him the idea. You're one murder with any panache at all. And you stole the whole idea from me. <laughs> That girl got saved, man. You still kept the envelope. You didn't burn it or anything? You recognize this? Why are you putting it up to his face? Back up. How could you ever prove that that's the original? The bar closed nine years ago. Back up. You too close to him. He can take that from you. Second. Exactly. That's what I... Oh, my God. Bro. Uh -huh. Well, did you see this proof? This smoking napkin blanc? Did anybody? Why are you afraid of this man? He, he can't fight. I don't even know if he still has the gun on him. And there's nothing but totally circumspective evidence. So if this was just- <laughs> He said another freaking big ass word and don't even know what the hell it is. Been doing all weekend, then Blanc wins an iPad Pro this time. So I guess if somebody actually just reads the dictionary on a daily or something like that, they probably already had a feeling that this dude was stupid. It's going to be your word against mine. I think it's going to go about like it went for Andy. I, I do want to say y your sister was a complicated woman, but she meant the world to me. And I'm so sorry for your loss. I really hope you still got the recorder because he just confessed to her murder. He is like one of the only type of actors that could pull off a line like that. It just comes off so Douchey like. I've loved the soundtrack in this movie. For a girl who says she don't drink, man, this girl be chugging them shits. Hell yeah! the fuck is up with her <laughs> God, that girl's so over dramatic come on tell it <laughs> girl you about to blow us all to smithereens oh shit Whoa, what the Don't hell? <laughs> Yo! I hope you get insurance. Oh, 
shit. This is actually a better way of getting payback, to be honest with you. <laughs> now, Helen, I hope you know how to throw them hands. <laughs> they really just running like there isn't glass all on the floor and the freaking house is not burning down. To hide a broken heart. <laughs> he looking at it like, oh no, girl, please. Real Mona Lisa. Damn, I wonder how much money he's gonna have to spend to pay them back on that. They did a great job filming this scene right here. Now I will say, I kind of feel a little underwhelmed with the whole finding out he was the dude who killed her and stuff. I feel like they did a better job in the last movie with that. Your feel of the future just barbecued. The world's most famous painting, you dumbass. You're ruined. And you did get your wish. Damn, that's smart. I wasn't even thinking about that. Dude, uh, yeah, he did get what he wished for. And this is one of those points where uh, negative publicity isn't good publicity. God, now that you mention it, I clearly saw him grab Duke's gun. I saw him driving away from Andy's house the night she was killed. Did you get the son of a bitch? Well, she didn't die, bro. the end okay there we go y'all glass onion and knives out mystery bro i got a question for y'all which one did i say is better the first one or the second one for me i feel like they probably are in the same playing field this is a little even even though there's a lot of stuff that i liked about the first one that was better than this one there's a lot of stuff that i liked about this one that was better than the first one so far when it comes to the whole who done it aspect and just the crime in general i'll say the first one was a little bit more interesting to me so I, just, I love these credits right here, bro. This is fantastic. I'm glad that this is like a little thing that they're gonna continue doing. So, but yeah, you know, go ahead and like the video, share, comment down below, subscribe, click the bell so you know when I upload more videos, bro. If you enjoyed this reaction and enjoy watching the movie with me. Okay, everybody, like I said, there we go with Knives Out the Glass Onion. That, that's what I'm gonna call it. But I understand this Glass Onion, a Knives Out mystery. I just, it doesn't really feel catchy to me, but this movie was fantastic. I love, I love the acting. The writing was probably the best part of this movie for me. When it comes to just the directing in general, I felt like they did a good job. Uh, right now just from watching this movie it might change later on but right now i will say that the first one and the second one are equal i can't wait to see what other actors they get for the third movie and exactly what type of story they're gonna tackle when it comes to that movie i feel like they did a great job here the chemistry was really good amongst all the actors i really don't know how they're gonna top this one when it comes to just the mystery aspect and just oh who did it and the whole build up and turning it on his head and having it so complex and all this stuff and showing you other stuff that will have you feel like oh i know what's going on but then that's when after seeing all these different things play out you like oh snap i actually didn't know shit that's one of the things that i just i love about these knife out movies man yeah i'll go ahead and actually give this movie here an a see but that's crazy how they really just got me with this whole thing i really didn't think that edward norton was going to be the villain he was going to be the person who did it even though it probably was obvious because with him he plays that character so well when it comes to just being a villain or when it comes to just being a, a douche or an asshole so i know there's some people that was probably going into this movie already thinking that he was the one that was involved the whole time me i thought it was probably going to be either kate or it was gonna be Catherine. But yeah, with all that being said, go ahead and follow me on all my social medias. Links will be down in the description below. And if you would like to see my full length reaction to this movie, the previous movie, other movies I do and the TV shows I do, you can click the link down below in the description to my Patreon. But with all that being said, everybody, I'll see y'all on the next one. All right, peace.